What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Way Back Wednesday, and today we're looking at the deck that Eric Nance used. Uh, or not Eric Nance, sorry, Kevin Nance. I don't know why I keep saying You're going to see me say Eric a couple times, but it's Kevin Nance who actually got second place at U.S. Nationals in 2012 with his Mewtwo uh, Eels deck, or Mewtwo Electric. Um, Zachrami Electric is what it's called at first, but then eventually kind of transformed into a Mewtwo Eels deck. Uh, but let's go over this deck. Um, what is it about? Why did it get second place at U.S. Nationals? And let's see how strong of a deck this is. Well, our main attack is going to be Mewtwo. The deck's called Mewtwo Wheels. And what we're going to do is Axe Ball. It does 20 damage, times amount of energy attached to this Pokemon, and then defending Pokemon. Back then, Mewtwo Wars were huge. You've heard me say this multiple times um, with other decks as well. I guess only like we've only played two other decks or something. But <clears throat> still, Mewtwo Wars were huge back in the day. And the best way to power up from Mewtwo's were with Eels. Eels can Dynamotor, put a Lightning from your discard pile to the Mewtwo's and just keep the party going. And just keep on using X-Ball over and over again. And that's going to be the plan with this deck. Now, uh, Kevin did play the Electros with Slurp Shakedown. And I was reading through the article, I'll link it down below to the top cut. Um, it's for Valplume, because you can Slurp Shakedown, bring up Valplume and get it stuck in the Axe Spot. And that's really good. Um, so you can beat Valplume with Native that way, so that's really cute. Um, but also just bring a Pokemon hit for 60. It's not a bad thing either for your last prize cards if needed that way. He did play a Zekrom with the Bolt Strike 120. Which is really good if you need to do like 130 out of nowhere because 120 plus a plus power is a knockout. Um, you can also let a tank for a turn. You can just retreat into Zekrom. Let it take a hit and then you can outrage for more damage later on. Uh, he played a 3-1 split of the Tynamo. I guess the spark didn't matter. Some, it did matter. Like 10 and 10 to a bench. I don't know the math on, math on it on top of my head because I haven't played this deck too much. But the main Tynamo is a Thunder Wave. Uh, Thunder Wave, flip a coin of heads, and Infinity Pokemon is now paralyzed. Now, there's another Tynamo that people deploy, and that's the free retreat one, but it only has 30 HP. And that's actually really bad because Darkrai was one of the biggest decks at the time. And uh, with the 30 HP, Darkrai could just knock out on the bench, and so that's not good. You want the 40 HP one. Um, like always, you can play one Shaman for Celebration win to move your energies around any way you want to, and two Smeargle for that portrait to use your opponent's supporter card if it's in their hand, which is fantastic. So that way you can use two supporters in one turn. And one Raikou as well. The Thunder Fang is really cute. You can paralyze the active if you flip heads, or Volt Bolt for 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. It could be on the bench, it could be on the active, whatever you want to, and Riku could help you take those last prize cards needed as well if your opponent did retreat out of the active. And that's gonna be all the Pokemon we play. I say all the Pokemon, but it's 16 Pokemon, so much. But uh, three dual ball, flip two coins for each head, search deck for base Pokemon, put it into your hand. Four junk arm, MVP, like best card of the time for sure. Discard two cards from your hand, search discard pile for a trader card and put it into your hand. Uh, two Love Ball to search for Pokemon with 90 HP or less, which is Eel, Tynamo, Shamans, and Smeargle. Two Max Potion. Um, max Potion, you heal all damage from your Pokemon, but then you have to discard all energy. But that's fine. You're going to discard your energy, and then you can, like, Dynamo back onto it, so that's great. Um, the real plan is to, like, you Dynamo first, then retreat the Max Potion, because Mewtwo has a two retreat cost, so it's really hard to, like... Max Potion then retreat because you have no energies. So that's, yeah. So make sure you retreat first for Max Potion is my word of advice. Uh, two plus power because you never know when the 10 damage is needed. And with four Junk Arms, you can use it at any moment. Three Catcher. Like I said before, back of the day, it said switch automatically, but now it's a coin flip. Uh, one random receiver, which is really good because you can Junk Arm for it. And if you don't know, random receiver, you flip over cards to you find a supporter card. One Super Rod to mainly, mainly get back your Pokemon for sure. Uh, two Switch. This is going to help you use like Smeargles and switch into like whatever. Um, you can use double Smeargle now. So you can double Portrait if you want to do that. That's something really cute. And one Skyro Bridge, which might seem really confusing. Like why just one Stadium card? Well, that's because at the time Skyro Bridge was like the most played Stadium card. So you really didn't need more than one. Or that was Kevin's idea. Like you only need one. So you don't need more than one. Your opponent's going to put it down for you. And why I play anymore. Now this deck does play a bunch of supporter cards, which I do love. Uh, four Oak, four Juniper, three in. Just to make sure you hit a supporter card every single turn. And guys, like I said, almost every single episode. The reason why I hate Shauna is because they didn't reprint this card. Why would you not reprint this card? But instead, you reprint it in and you reprint a Juniper. But you didn't reprint Oak. You reprinted Shauna, which is 5 instead of 6. I still don't understand it. 
Uh, but for DC, because Mewtwo needs a DC and a Lightning to go with our Eels. And there we go. That is Kevin Nance's second place U.S. National List from 2012. The deck is a lot of fun. Just Dynamo to a Mewtwo is so strong. We still even see it nowadays with like Dynamo to Rayquaza, Dynamo to uh, Rayquaza. And it's still a very strong concept with Eels. It was just at the time Mewtwo was the strongest card. And now that has changed a little bit more. Um, Mewtwo is no longer the strongest card to Dynamo to it's other Pokemon, but still this concept still goes on today in 2017, which is pretty crazy. Five years, and we're still using the same concept in the expanded format. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This deck was a lot of fun to play. We only play one match, but the match is 20 minutes long, and it's worth every minute to watch. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see this deck in action. Alright guys, so when I get Ice Daddy playing a Psychic, Colors, Dark, and a Grass deck. So call heads like always, uh, we will go first, which is fantastic. We won the coin flip. Uh, yes, I would like to go first, and let's see what is going to happen. All right, so we start Tanamo. Um, we got a Lightning Energy, which we could attach to and then play an in to get a new hand of six. All right, so Junk Arm, Dark Patch, okay, all right, all right. So some kind of Dark Right deck for sure. Yeah, hopefully it's not like Weavile, because that deck is like, I don't know if we can beat Weavile. That's a pretty bad matchup for us. But we can beat Darkrai. Um, Eric's whole, like, uh, Kevin, sorry, Kevin's whole idea was that he could beat Darkrai. Just using Tynamos and just mow him down uh, with, like, Max Potion stuff, which is great. Um, we'll see if this keeps up or not. So Dark, uh, a Pokemon in the active spot. Sorry, not a Darkrai straight away. And show me what is my opponent playing. There's Dual Ball and Double Smeargle. All right, so we'll Dual Ball. Heads and heads, all right. With this, we'll grab a Mewtwo and a Tynamo. Okay. We'll put down the Mewtwo, put down the Tynamo. Um, we'll DC a Mewtwo and then play it in to give both opponents a new hand of sex. And let's see what do we find with this. We find a Zekrom, a Shaman, a Junk Arm. Okay. I'm going to play a random receiver. Just so we can have it in our discard pile. Okay, so there we go. We'll get the Juniper. And right now, we're just going to pass. Okay. So on to our opponent's turn, we're going to draw a card, and hopefully with this, we can top deck a Lightning Energy, and then maybe go for a Dual Ball, um, just to discard it, and then maybe Electric, or no, we, we need a Lightning Energy to treat the, the Tynamo for sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, next turn we can X-Ball, my opponent can uh, Portrait, but he knows he, has a he knows we have a Juniper in his hand, uh, so there's good old Darkrai, another Darkrai, so it looks like it is going to be a Darkrai versus a Mewtwo, alright, he's a Pokemon Catcher. Tails, all right. Will he use portrait or not? That card was, was reversed for a second, but now it's not reversed. Am I crazy? All right, so Junk Arm discarding a dark and a dark patch. Uh, going to grab another catcher, most likely. And I guess he's trying to bring a Mewtwo uh, to swing at it this turn. So dark patch or dark eye, okay. Um, and uh, he knows we have a Juniper in our hand, but he could Oak. He could try to go for catcher again, but yeah, going to use portrait, going to hit the juniper, discard the catcher, and draw seven new cards. And I'm fine with this. I'm fine with him playing uh, that for sure right now. I don't care about that too much. All right, so dark new dark. Oh, that's a special dark. So it does uh, 100 now. There's a sky Arc bridge. Give a free retreat. Uh, Mr. Blime coming down. A dark eye. It does give a uh, way to get another dark patch to play. Another smeargle. We'll see a Professor Oak's uh, new theory. So Portrait, or you could use Juniper again, but no, going to use Oak, going to shuffle and get six new cards, and wow, opponent's having a great turn one right now, alright, so uh, there's an Eevee Light going to the Darkrai, alright, this is going to be a hard matchup, guys, he has minus 40, yeah, it's like, it's like, a, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like we're in 2012 right now, playing the World Championship, I don't think my opponent's playing anything that's not in 2012, that's good, that's good, maybe we're playing to get, uh, like, a good match right now. So Junk Arm, going to discard a Dark Energy, most likely. And he does discard a Dark Energy. He will get a turn one Night Spear off. All right. But <clears throat> if we can find a DC or an Energy, we can hit this Dark Arm for 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, or 20, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now just going to pass. All right. So on our turn, we find a Smeargle. We'll put that down. Um, we don't have a Switch. But we can Oak to get six new cards. Okay. There's Super Rod, Dual Ball, alright, so we can, let's see, Dual Ball, Tails and Heads, alright, with this, 
We could grab a Reiku, but Reiku doesn't really do anything right now. So wow, we don't have a we don't have another Mewtwo. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um so I'm gonna grab a Reiku. Okay. We'll put that guy down. Um we could retreat and portrait this turn to see what's in our opponent's hand, which is fine, I think. We just gotta hope he doesn't have anything crazy. Um We'll still, yeah, we'll go for Portrait. Let's see what happens. All right, so no cards but a rain and receiver, all right? All right, so, uh, well, Light Energy. Um, we could go for a Thunder Fang, but I'm going to put a Light Energy on me too. I'm just going to pass right now. All right, so on our opponent's turn, they're going to draw a card. And what I'm doing right now is making him attack with Dark Art first, so, the, so then we attack with our Mewtwo, so Rain Receiver. I uh, finds a Juniper. All right, so you can Juniper discard a Saint. Wait, Egg's not legal. Executes not a card from 2012. All right, so Ulch, neither is Ulch Ball, I'm pretty sure. Discard the Dark Patch and something else to grab an Egg. Okay. So he's going to uh, Juniper, discard the Egg, and draw seven new cards. All right. What is he digging for here, I wonder? All right, let's see what is our opponent trying to find, and that is the big question. So, Dark Energy, Dark Eye, okay. Uh, we'll see an Evil Light go to that Dark Eye. That's not good. A Receive Retreat, and we'll see a Night Spear taking a knockout and putting 30 damage, probably on a tiny mode. Oh no, the Mewtwo. Okay, all right, that's fine. Um, as long as he just play Verbanks and lasers stuff like that, we should be okay. We'll send it the Reiku. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so there's a Lightning Energy. I'm going to um, Junk Arm, discard a Lightning and a Zekrom for a Rain Receiver. And with this Rain Receiver, I'm hoping to hit an Oak or an In. And we find another Juniper. No, that's not what we needed. All right, so we'll Super Rod, shuffle the uh, Dacer guys back on the deck. And we'll Juniper, discard our hand, draw seven new cards, unfortunately. All right, so that's not what I wanted, but there's a lightning energy of plus power, so a love ball for an electric. Okay, we will put that guy to the active. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, minus 40 is 80. Uh, so I need to put a lightning on this guy, retreat, and go for an axe ball this turn. Yeah, we have to go for an X-Ball to do 100 damage. And then that way we can knock out the Dark Guard the following turn. All right, so I'm opponent's turn. going to draw a card. Okay. But remember, he's down, what, two Junk Arms and three Dark Patches. Okay. So I Dark Energy, that guy. There's a Night Spear. Okay. All right, so we're going to put 30 on our Tynamo. All right, so on our turn, <clears throat> let's see. We find a Lightning Energy. Um, that's not what I really want. What I want is to find a DC plus another plus power to knock out this guy with a max potion. So I'm going to play the plus power. I'm going to put down Smeargle. I don't think... Ooh, what we could do is Volt Bolt the active for 100 for a knockout that way. Uh, just discarding one lightning. That could be really nice. So we're going to actually Juniper right now. Uh, discarding the left draw, so I think that'd be fine. All right, I was hoping to find... Um, oh, we do find a Love Ball. Okay, so we can Love Ball this turn. But we cannot take a... Oh, no Max Potion. Mm, that's unfortunate. So I'm going to Junk Arm, discard the Dual Ball and Zekrom. To grab a Love Ball, okay. So we'll play a Love Ball to grab another Eel. Oh, we can grab a Shaman. And that could get us a knockout this turn. With the Volt Bolt. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's actually what I'm do. I'm going to grab a Shaman. I, I know it's probably not the best thing to do, but I'm going to grab a Shaman. I'm going to Dynamotor, a Lightning onto this guy. Okay. I'm going to uh, 20, 40, 60, 800. All right, yeah, I think I'm going to treat the DCE, and then we get Celebration Move to the Lightning to the active. Um, the only bad thing is he can take a bunch of price cards next turn. Uh, man, this is weird. How do we play this out? Okay, I think I'm still going to retreat this turn. 
Yeah, I'm going to retreat. Discard. Um, we'll send the, this guy. Discard the DCE. Okay, press done. We'll use Shaman Celebration Win. Uh, yes. Okay. Move the two lightnings to the active. So there's one. There's two. We'll press done and we'll Volt Bolt to knock out the active. There we go. So Volt Bolt, do it 100 to the active, minus 20 for 80 damage. All right. So there we go. 90 because plus five, whatever. So we got on four prize cards. There is a Mewtwo and a Mewtwo. Oh, there's our Mewtwo's. They were hiding and now they're out to play. All right. So my opponent's probably going to. Okay. Sinus Miracle. He's going to notice our hand is really, really good. Um, so he wants to end us. But if he ends us, we can find a max potion. And there's his, is that his last dark patch? It is his last dark patch. Uh, dark to this guy, okay. All right, so we're doing, I think we're doing okay. He can take a, uh, a knock on the Tiny move. That's pretty much it. We'll see an end. We'll go down to four. He gets five. But he needs to find a catcher's turn to knock out both of our eels. All right, so lightning, lightning. All right, so I don't care about this too much. We just got to find one of our max potions. If we could do that, we could put our opponent in a bad situation. So Sableye coming down. Oak going to shuffle, get six new cards. But he's already played one catcher and two junk arms. He probably has four junk arms for sure. But can he find one or not is the big question. And where does he put the sturdy? So Propagation. Uh, he most likely has a junk arm. That's why he's propagating right now. Because his plan is to take a, is take four, is take three prize cards this turn to put himself down to two. That would be the best situation. So Junk Arm, does he flip heads with this catcher? That is what he's trying to do right now. So discards an uh, egg and an Ultra Ball. Okay. There's a catcher. Will he go 0 for 3 or 1 for or 1 to 3? And his tails. Yes, we did it, guys. All right, so we're good to go. He gets swing, hit a ton of O. But if we find a max potion, we can take a knockout. I mean, we can take a knockout, but we can heal our Mewtwo so much this turn. So is he a, a laser? Oh my goodness, he's a cheater. He was doing so fine, and then he plays a laser out of nowhere. Wow, what a cheater. All right, that's uh, not cheating, whatever. He's just playing legacy mode. All right, so 10 damage poison. We have 100 HP now, and we do wake up. That's great. So on our turn, we find a catcher. Catcher, really not that useful right now, um, for sure. So we're just going to end... Um, Gonna put my opponent out of four. Gonna put us down to four, but can we find a max potion? And we don't find a max potion. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is put down Tynamo, switch into the Smeargle, and just hope this portrait does not kill us. We need to find an oak. Oh, that's a juniper. Oh no, that's not good. Alright, so a juniper, discard our hand, draw seven new cards, but can we find a max potion? And we oh we find one. That's good. So a max potion heal this Mewtwo. We will uh, Dynamotor to the Mewtwo. We will attach to the Mewtwo. <laughs> Switch. And we will Axe Ball. Alright, so 20, 40, 60, 800. Minus 40 is 60 damage. But, I mean, if we find... Oh, man. Uh, we did 6, 8, 10. Uh, this, we need to find another Switch. Um... Take a knockout this turn. It's gonna be really hard to take a knockout this turn for sure. But he can take a knock on us either, but he can start putting damage on this Raikou, which is not good at all. Um, he could try to snipe a tiny mode, but we have an eel on our hand. There's a dark and you go to dark eye. Okay. Eevee light to the dark. Oh my goodness, all the Eevee lights. Ice right, so of propagation. You're gonna put it in Agus hand, okay. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. We could go for Paralyzation Flip next turn, but only does 10 damage, so that's not too good. Uh, computer Search discards an Egg and an Ultra Ball, okay. Let's see what he gets here. Uh, maybe his fourth Junk Arm, that could be a possibility, okay. Um, I don't know, I don't know what he's going to get this turn. Good try to find a Laser. He's played one so far, but he probably plays more for sure. Alright, so let's see, what does the Computer Search get my opponent? How many junk arms have we played? Just two, right? Yeah, just the two, so that's good. Okay. Alright, alright. How many DCs? Two or three? Two? Okay, alright, alright. Alright, so gonna put a card in with the computer search and let's see what is going to happen. There's a Juniper. 
All right, so obviously with the computer search, he grabbed a juniper, which I imagine is not what he wanted to see. I imagine it was something else, but he, it must be prize or something. So Night Spear doing uh, 90 to the active and 30 to probably the Reiku. I'm not going to put 30 on the Tynamo, and that's fine with me. On to our turn. We'll put a Lightning, so put down the Eel. Do you have two Lightnings? We do have two Lightnings, but we can't take a knockout, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do is Dynamotor to a Reiku. Energy the Reiku. <clears throat> um, da, 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 da. Energy the Reiku. Okay. I'm going to retreat into the Reiku and try to flip heads with this Paralyzation. Alright, so a Thunder Fang for 10. But can we flip heads? And we flip heads, so he is paralyzed. All right, so if next turn, we still can't take a knockout. Um, I'm just trying to find a max position heal our Mewtwo, most likely. So switch oh, he has a switch regardless. Oh, that's not good. All right, so he's going to take a knockout. Oh, no. I don't know if we can win now, guys. All right, so going to hit a, a, ton a Neil Electric. That's fine with me. If we find a... I don't know if we can win. I I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if we can win. So Smeargle, under our turn. We find a DCE. Okay, so put down Mewtwo. We'll put a DCE. Uh, try to play a catcher. Heads will bring up the Darkrai. We will Dynamotor number one. <laughs> Dynamotor number two. Okay. We will use Portrait. And hopefully, this Portrait finds an end. And we find a Juniper. Okay, so we have 14 cards left. I'm playing a Juniper right now to discard that Smeargle. I do not need that anymore. So a Juniper, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. We find a Max Potion, which is fantastic. So now I'm going to Max Potion this Eel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 140. Oh, no, we can't take a knockout this turn, unfortunately. So we will retreat. I'm going to... Do we in or not in? I'm going to Love Ball first, okay? Not going to grab anything. I'm going to retreat. And uh, these Eevee Lights are killing us right now. That's the thing right now. Eevee Lights are no good for us. So we're going to end him down to two. I'm going to end him down to two. I think that's fine. We get four cards. He gets two. A plus power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 140. M Take that, Darkrai. All right, so we'll X-Ball for the knockout. Oh, my goodness. All right, so 110 exactly. Going down to two prize cards. There's a Lightning and a Junk Arm. All right, guys. Um, Here comes Dark. Okay, Smeargle, all right. We have we don't have anything in our hand, really, but he can retreat to this guy. Does he find another catcher? There's an escape rope. I am sitting in uh, Shaman for sure. I do not care about Shaman getting knocked out. I'm, I'm actually fine with Shaman getting knocked out, okay? All right. So, uh, there's a random receiver. Going to find an Oak. I don't care about that either. Okay. Oak, going to shuffle and draw six new cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we... Oh, there's a Darker coming out. I don't care about the Darker. That's fine. Darker, do that guy. Okay. And a Night Spear. He's going to do 90 to the active, but can we win that game this turn? Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. We gotta make sure we do perfect math this turn. So 90 and 30. Okay, so 100 damage. Chicken knockout going down to one prize card, but I think we can win this turn, guys. We'll see this miracle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We don't have the game just yet. Um, so let me make sure you do the math right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 180. Okay. Uh, minus 20. So we need to find a DCE. I don't know if there's one left in our deck. We're going to junk, uh, we're going to junk arm, <sighs> discard one and two. I am going to grab a plus power. How many junk arms have we played? Two. So we have another one left. Uh, we have six. So we're going to deck off the start, but we're either going to win or we're not going to win. That's the thing. So we're going to have plus power. We're going to play it. We are going to Juniper, discard our hand, draw seven new cards, and let's see what is going to happen. And we find the DC. We can put a DC in this guy. We can Junk Arm, discard one and two, 
for another plus power. We're going to do 200 damage turn, even with the resistance and everything like that. So play the plus power. We'll double dynamo and we'll take the game. Oh my goodness, guys. I wasn't even sure if the lightning, if the DC is prized or not. We'll put a DC on a lightning on this guy. We put another lightning on that guy, and we did it, guys. We took down the Dark Art deck. Like it was 2012 versus 2012, and we did it, guys. So retreat into the Mewtwo, and we will X Ball for the knockout, win the game. I think we're doing 200 damage right now. And there we go, guys. Oh my goodness. With the Junk Arm, we had it either way. I uh, know, with the Junk Arm, we didn't have it. Um, But yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was. Ooh, the last DC was not priced, and we did it, guys. That was amazing. So hopefully, you enjoyed this episode of. <laughs> of uh way back wednesday uh playing against it was basically like 2012 dark rice miracle versus uh mewtwo eels so that was very fun guys but hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hope you have a great wednesday Alrighty, bye all right guys i just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors six cards yet gaming and the pokemon company international links to everything will be down below in the description thanks for watching have a great day Alrighty.